Hi, Year 4. Hope you're all okay. Welcome to Wednesday's Maths lesson on area. Before we start, I have a starter on the video for you to have a look at. So it says Molly is trying to work out if she has enough tiles to make this shape on a game board. She has 16 tiles. Does she have enough tiles? Explain how you know. So the shape she wants to make is in red. So the red part is the shape she wants to make. And she only has 16 tiles. So does she have enough to make this shape? Um, or this pattern on the game board. So if you want to have a go at that now, do so. If you're a bit in a pickle with it, then I'll explain what you need to do. So because she only has 16 tiles, you need to work out how many tiles she actually needs. So you need to count all the ones in red and then see if it's more or less than 16. If it's more, then she doesn't have enough to fill it all in. If it's less, then she does have enough. Okay, so you need to count up the red tiles and then see what your answer is and explain then how you know whether she would or be able to, wouldn't or would be able to do it, okay? So pause the video, have a quick go at it. Okay, welcome back if you have had a go at the question now. So I'm going to count the red tiles so that we can see how many she needs. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So the area of the game board, the shape on the game board that she wants to make is 18 tiles. She only has 16 and therefore she does not have enough, okay, because it's there's 18 there and she only has 16, so she doesn't have enough. Okay, hopefully you managed um, to work out that one. That's quite a straightforward question based on our previous learning. Um, moving on then to today. So today we're going to look at comparing the area of 2D shapes. We've looked at area quite a lot now. We've looked at um, making shapes and finding out the area of them. So today we're comparing them. And that just means looking at whether they're the same um, or looking at which one's the bigger one, which one has the larger area, which one has the smaller area. And our star words are all the same as the previous lesson, so I don't need to go through those with you. So the first question then, insert, and then we have our Charlie Crocodile symbols, or an equal sign, to correctly compare the shapes below. So how could you find out which shape has the largest area? Which sign would you use to compare the area? So let's focus on this first question. How could you find out which shape has the largest area? So to do that, you just need to count the squares to find out the area of them. So shape A has an area of 11 squares and shape B has an area of 9 squares. Therefore, A has the largest surface area. Um, so we need to choose which sign we need to use for that now. So think about your Charlie Crocodile signs. Remember, he his mouth is open towards the bigger number because he wants to eat the biggest number. So if 11 is our biggest number, his mouth is going to be open towards that number. OK, so it should look like that. All right, um, let's move on then for you to have a go. So I have some more questions for you. I want you to have a think about whether these statements are correct to explain your answer. So what you need to do is count the square to find out the area of both of these shapes and then say whether this is the correct sign and then do the same for these two and work out whether this sign is correct. And if it's not, can you explain your answer and can you um, think about which sign is the correct one to go in there? So have a quick go at that and then um, come back to me afterwards. So hopefully you managed to work out the answer for that one. So with this green shape, there are 18 squares, which means that the area was 18. And with the purple one, there are 16 squares, therefore the area is 16. So this sign is incorrect because the Charlie Crocodile sign is going towards this number, when in fact this is the larger number, so it should be the other way around, so it should be like that, okay? Because this is the larger number, so remember Charlie Crocodile wants to eat the largest number, so his mouth is towards the bigger number. And let's look at this one, so the blue shape has an area of 16 squares, and the red shape also has an area of 16 squares, therefore they are the same, and the equal sign is correct, okay? So that one was um, correct. It was just this one that needed correcting. Okay, before you go on to your mathletics task, which shapes have an equal area? So looking at these shapes, which ones have an equal area? So you're going to need to work out the area of each shape. So you need to count the squares from each shape and then work out which ones have the same area. 
So pause the video quickly, have a go and see which ones have an equal area. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you managed to work that question out. So I've just gone through them and worked out the area of each shape. So the red one here is 15 squares. Uh, this yellow one down here is 8. The one in the middle is 2. Purple is 8 and the blue one is 6. Therefore, the yellow and the purple have an equal area. And in fact, if you look at them, they're the same shape. They're just rotated. Um, so they have the same surface area. OK, I hope that all makes sense because that's actually a question from your mathematics um, activity. So if you're not sure about that, just go through it again and then hopefully you'll be ready to do your mathematics. So it's your time to have a go now. You have two mathematics activities set for today. Um, there's one on looking at equal area and then there's another one on comparing area. If you finish both tasks and you want to do the challenge, then come back to the video because we have a challenge at the end, okay? But if you don't, if you do your both of your tasks and it's kind of been about 20, 30 minutes, then don't worry, um, that can be all for today, okay? Only come back to the challenge if you have the time and if you want to have that challenge. So welcome back. If you're wanting to do the challenge, it's a very similar to question to what we had earlier. If I just take these away. So you need to look at them, the shapes, and you need to work out whether these statements are correct. So you need to help count how many squares there are, work out the area of each shape, and then you need to decide whether this statement, so whether the symbol in the middle is correct. So just to point out, they also have half squares. So remember, if you have two halves, like this one, if I just circle it so you can see it, this one and this one, if you put them together, it will make one square. Okay, so just bear that in mind when you're trying to work out. Okay, so pause the video, have a go at it, and then I'll go through the answers in a minute. Okay, welcome back if you um, have completed your challenge. So I've just counted the area for each shape and the blue one at the um, start here was 19 and the green one was as well. So therefore this symbol is correct because they are equal, they are the same. And then the other one, um, the blue one was 18 squares, that's the area, and the purple one had an area of 18 squares as well. So therefore, this symbol is incorrect. It should, in fact, be an equal sign because they have the same area. OK, I hope that's all made sense. Um, if you have any problems or any questions about um, any of the things we've been through, then please let me know. It's our last lesson on area. So if you're really not sure, then please send me an email and we can go through it um, together later. OK, thank you for watching and um, Join me for my video tomorrow.